Let us see the summary of the lesson Journey to the End of the Earth by Tishani Doshi The author after 100 hours of traveling by car airplane and ship arrived at the coldest continent of the world Antarctica She felt immense wonder looking at Antarctica's white landscape for the first time She also marveled at the fact that India and Antarctica were part of the same landmass once. 650 million years ago, Earth had one giant supercontinent named Gondwana. Gondwana was home to a variety of flora and fauna. The climate was also much warmer. Then, after 500 million years, Gondwana was separated into several countries. Antarctica is one of the few places which remains the closest to the geological composition of Gondwana. So, to visit Antarctica is to see that history also understands the future of the earth. The author used to Indian summers felt disoriented by Antarctica's frigid and desolate climate. It also makes her think about the position of humans in the larger context of Earth's geological history. Though humans have been around for just 12,000 years, they have taken over Earth's resources and irretrievably changed Earth's natural balance. Climate change is a result of this takeover. To understand various climate changes that happen around the world, one can study half million year old carbon records trapped in Antarctica's ice. The author then talks about students on ice program started by Geoff Green. Green had become tired of carrying celebrities and rich voyagers. So, he founded the program to create a generation of future policy makers by showing them the South Pole. The author believes that this program has been successful because it was impossible not to be affected by the South Pole. It is at Antarctica that you can see how the little things changes can have big repercussions. She gives the example of tiny phytoplankton which nourish the southern sea's entire food chain. The author experienced something similar when her ship was stuck between ice. The ship of the captain made them gear up and experience a walk on the ice. While on ice, the author saw the layer of ice giving away to water. There were seals bathing themselves under the sun. At that time, the author realized that everything is connected together. Now, the author muses on the beauty of balance that underlies the life of planet Earth. She wonders what would happen to the Earth if Antarctica became a warmer place, if humans would become extinct like dinosaurs. However, spending two weeks with idealistic teenagers, the author feels optimistic about the future.